I'm Jan Wenzel, Chief Productivity Officer at Life Contained. I'm going to walk you through my weekly review process. Built on a foundation shared in David Allen's book, Getting Things Done, this weekly ritual is critical for me feeling good throughout the week. It's a five-step process. The first step is to process my inboxes to zero. This includes both my email inbox as well as those papers that I might have collected in a paper inbox throughout the week. And when I say process, I'm talking about making decisions. And I use the process of making one of five decisions. I either delete or discard, delegate, take immediate action if it takes only a few minutes, file it in my reference system, or I can decide to defer the action by creating a task in Outlook. The second step I take is to review my calendar. And I'm gonna look back at the week before as well as the week ahead to see if there are any tasks associated with those scheduled appointments that haven't yet landed in my system. I'm also gonna be paying attention to the week ahead as to how much time I have each day to complete work. And with that knowledge then, I move ahead to the third step, which is reviewing my tasks. And I'm someone who puts all of my tasks into one place, and that place is Outlook. And so I use the task by category view of Outlook in order to review everything during this weekly process. This is the only time that I really spend time over here in this view. And what I do is I unfold each of the next action categories that I have, which are those top ones, waiting for client, business development, marketing, admin, and personal. I unfold and then look at each task within each to make decisions. And the decisions I'm making, when I'm in the waiting for category, sometimes I will decide to promote it from that category to one of action. I'm still looking to delegate and to delete. And there are also times when I can demote something that I had decided should be in action, but now I think it belongs more in a someday space. And almost every single week I end up adding new tasks because going through this process jogs your memory and helps you to put those things down that you intended to do but hadn't done yet. And lastly, I can decide to assign a due date and to assign things to the following week. After that, then I review a projects list. This is another David Allen idea and the idea is to have an inventory of all the projects that you're active in and to just review that list and even sometimes the materials that go along with those projects so that it can jog your memory and remind you to add tasks and to keep each of those projects moving forward. There are also other areas, someday and areas of responsibility, that I review on a monthly and a quarterly basis at this time. The last step is to calibrate my assignments. And so what I do is I go into a different view. I go into this to-do list view, which gives me a view by date. And I unfold each of these so that I can look at all the tasks that I've assigned for the week in one screen. This view allows me to move things from day to day without having to go into the tasks to do it manually. It also allows me to see whether or not I have overloaded any particular day or the week in general. And then this allows me to work from the to-do bar on a daily basis. And I've customized this to sit right beside of my weekly view in Outlook's calendar. And it allows me to put into priority order and slide up and down the things that I want to do each day so that I can feel confident in the decisions I'm making. May you adopt a part of this process that you like and make it your own. I'm Jan Wenzel. Thanks for tuning in.